I'm Andy with Speedgoat, and this is the Colnago M10. There's no other bicycle brand on the planet with a more storied history or a longer list of races won than Colnago. A quick check of their website yields a timeline stretching all the way back to 1930, and it's peppered with names like Merckx, Zutamelk, Cerrone, Mertens, Bartoli, Taffy, Museu, Fondrias, Frere, Zabel, Bataki, Bettini, and now Voigtler and Roland. Colnagos have won Giro d'Italia's, Tours de France, World Championships, and hundreds of individual stages and races along the way. It wouldn't be a stretch to say that Colnago is the most race-tested and race-bred bicycle brand on the planet. And you may not know this, but in 2009, the Colnago family decided to move away from their U.S. distributors in order to bring their bikes directly to customers here in the States. Thankfully for us, they based their new home office called Colnago USA right here in Chicago, which gives Speedgoat same-day access to their entire on-hand inventory, as well as beautiful demo bikes like this one. Being a short drive away also affords us the opportunity to see their handiwork up close and learn a few things about the guts of a Colnago that isn't usually publicized. Believe it or not, in spite of such an amazing history and inspired engineering processes, they're still quite humble about how well built their frames are. For example, this image is the inside of the down tube. The waffle-like texture, in addition to the multi-sided shape, diffuses just enough road vibration to silence the typical clicks and pops you get from most big tubed monocoque frames, and it provides an added degree of rigidity. A lot, actually, but more on that in a minute. Another innovation is the headset. The aluminum cups are removable and have crumple zones, like a car, so that if you have a hard front-end impact, your frame will survive. As we move down to the fork, Colnago has created two independent chambers for each leg, each of which is structurally sound enough to support itself. So again, in the event of a crash, you won't have a catastrophic failure and you'll be able to make it home. Furthering the function over form ethic, the front and rear dropouts are forged and CNC'd from aluminum rather than being molded from carbon fiber for durability and long life. Another finishing touch is the internal brake cable channel in the top tube. It's both cosmetic and structural and also waterproof. Fishing the cable through the channel is as quick and as easy as if it were external. After only a few rides, it's clear to me that the M10 is the souped up, stripped down race car version of a high-end Colnago. It's sort of a track day bike and it's tailor-made for the relentless attacker, the blistering sprinter, and the daredevil descender. Honestly, it's the stiffest frame I have ever ridden. There's just enough compliance to keep it tame, but I found myself taking unreal lines and leans through corners, ripping up steep hills like they aren't even there, blasting down the other side like a pro downhiller, and pushing myself beyond the red zone on every single sprint just because I could. If you're the guy that everyone chases on the Saturday ride or likes to lap the field in a crit, dump whatever you're riding, and get an M10. Beneath the surface of this Italian beauty lies a snarling beast. If you'd like to learn more about the M10 or any other Colnago, please give us a call or send an email to sales at speedgoat.com. You're also welcome to email me directly and my email address is andy at speedgoat.com.